Good evening, I'm Hannah Sells, and this is your NC12 News Minute for Tuesday, November 10th. Well, when winter starts to make an appearance, so does flu season. Health Services at WKU reports there have been five confirmed cases of the flu on campus this semester. They also report they have given approximately 150 to 200 flu shots since October. WKU's Graves Gilbert Clinic gave us tips to keep the flu at bay. They suggest to eat healthy, get plenty of rest, and cover your mouth when sneezing and coughing. Health Services also says that if you have symptoms of the flu, isolate yourself and immediately seek medical treatment. Veterans Day is tomorrow, so the Bowling Green community is hosting events for those who served our country. Tomorrow, Warren Central High School will host a Prisoners of War and Missing in Action ceremony at 8.30 and 10 a.m. And the Women's Club of Smith's Grove will have a Veterans Day program at Smith's Grove Cemetery at 11 in the morning. Thursday is the annual wreath lay at 11 a.m. beside the Guthrie Bell Tower on campus to honor all actives, veterans, and late veterans for their service. Bowling Green's Veterans Day Parade will also air multiple times on Insight Cable Channel 4, November 12th through the 18th. Miller military Student Services reports that WKU has the largest military student population with approximately 2,000 students. For the seventh year in a row, MilitaryTimes.com has named WKU a Best for Vets four-year college. Currently, WK WKU is ranked at number 17, just behind Eastern Kentucky University, which is ranked second. Every year, the website puts out a list of 150 public, private, two- and four-year colleges that are best for active duty and veteran students. Starbucks just announced some new tuition deals today for families of veterans. The popular coffee shop already gives free tuition to employees who work at least 20 hours a week in partnership of Arizona State University. Now military veterans can use their free tuition for a spouse or child. Starbucks holds more than 5,000 veteran employees and hopes to double that by 2018. This has been your NC12 News Minute. I'm Hannah Sells.